Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Be ever impressive. But never duplicate. 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 Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C. here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. And I'm kind of revisiting a old Chipson that I purchased probably two years ago that has been sitting around basically doing nothing. I ended up ordering all the parts for it, but I came up with a little bit of a snag in the build quality of this Chipson here. So don't mind the headstock if it says Gibson. This is not a Gibson. This is a look-alike wannabe replica of the Les Paul Snake Pit. All right, so the whole plan of buying the replica Snake Pit was basically to, you know, have a replica of the Snake Pit. I was going to change the logo on the headstock to be a Gibson logo, get rid of the Gibson logo that's on it, and uh, yeah, the inlay work came out pretty good after I ended up fixing a lot of the problems that I had with the inlay. The inlay was sticking up enough to where it was catching your fingernail. Now it's like real nice and smooth. The frets were all replaced and redone. Um, yeah, so that was kind of my waste of time as far as working on this guitar goes. The other part of it was putting in some of the detail back into the snake over here and on this side and then fixing the head a little bit to have it more detail like the original. But uh, I don't think I'm going to end up doing that anymore. I've given up on the chips and guitars. I'm not going to buy any of them anymore. And the reason being is their quality. And although I should have seen this in the beginning, I really didn't. But here, I'm going to show you guys right now. So if I go ahead and take a bubble level and I place it right where the nut is supposed to be, you can see I'm, I'm pretty, much, pretty much level with where it's supposed to be. Hopefully, if it's not focusing on my hand, but focusing on the bubble. All right, so you can kind of see that. Now, if I take the same, not changing anything, and I place it on the top of the headstock, the bubble is all the way over to this side. So that's telling me, okay, well, there's a twist someplace. The neck's not twisted. I already checked that and did all kinds of work with the fretboard and everything else and didn't have no problems with uh, uh, having a twisted neck whatsoever. It's the headstock. The headstock has been cut wrong. So if I go ahead and I place this right here, my countertop is pretty much even. There is no angles on the countertop and you are looking at the headstock off to an angle. This side is down more. There is a real nice lip. And I could probably catch that with the camera. See the nice lip on your, I would say it would end up being the uh, right side. And on the left side, it kind of flows, that stock flows right into the cutout where the nut is. It's not a problem with the fretboard itself. It's a problem with the headstock. This side is down low, this side is up high, so when they ended up putting this on a belt sander or however they finished it, before putting the color and clear on there, well, they screwed up. They screwed up big time. This could affect maybe the playability of this guitar. Uh, I highly doubt it because it's just a headstock that has a twist in it. In order to correct this, I would have to make a full shim to put on the top narrow here, thicker here, and then a full shim to put on the bottom, thicker on this side, narrow on this side, and then re-level both sides to where they're evenly evenly thickness on both sides to where it will look correct. I'm not about to do that. That's something that the maker, builder, whatever, should have seen and threw in the basically a scrap pile that's probably what's going to end up with this thing. It's probably going to end up being scrapped. I'll end up taking the fretboard off of this thing because it's kind of nice looking and I did a lot of work to it. But the rest of the guitar, it's not bad. 
but it does need to be sanded down and refinished as far as the clear coat goes because they really did a shitty job on the clear which i've noted that in my first video of this the unboxing of this and what i was planning on doing with it the sides in the back are not bad i bought all new hardware for this thing so i've got new bridges uh electronics pickups tuners everything and it just looks like i'm not going to be working on this thing i'm not going to be finishing it i'm probably going to end up chucking it just because of that reason it just does not look correct it does not look right and if you look down the neck the neck is nice and straight i mean there is no problems as far as a twist goes in the neck but just looking at the headstock it gives that effect that there is a problem with the neck but there isn't and it's kind of like you know i'm looking at it right now and the fretboard is straight and the headstock is on an angle so yeah this is not going to be something that i would end up you know fixing and giving to somebody you know even as a giveaway just because of that reason so yeah this is the end of buying chips and guitars for me i should have made this video a long time ago i really didn't think about it until I started looking at a lot of the stuff that i've got because i have to do a lot of work in this room especially with cleaning up all the dust and stuff off the computer and uh yeah replacing the filter pads on the computer for the airflow uh plus there is like dust galore up here that i need to kind of uh kind of work on a little bit time for a spring cleaning in the workshop so yeah this thing here yeah it's going to be firewood